Hello YouTube. So chloroform is a really useful solvent in organic chemistry. And in this video I'll show you how to make a small amount. But first a word of caution. This reaction can get out of hand really fast and should not be attempted unless you are fully aware of the dangers. Also, chloroform is a suspected carcinogen and an environmental pollutant. If you make it, you must use and dispose of it properly. So let's get started. You will only need two chemicals, calcium hypochloride. If it is in the pellet form like this, you'll need to crush them. Be sure to do this outside. I used about four of them. And then you'll need about 150 milliliters of acetone. You will also need water and ice. And I'll show you that here in a little while. Okay, so let's set things up. First, you're going to need a sturdy stand and a container to hold water and ice to cool down your reaction flask that you mount next. This one is a three neck flask uh, with a calcium hypochloride and about 200 milliliters of water inside of it. Next I use an overhead mixer. You can omit however your yield will go down. Uh, I install a column to help in the reflux and to get around the motor. Now I place my condensing column for the reflux. And then we connect all of the water hoses and add ice to the reservoir and to the container the flask is in. Okay, now turn everything on and let it cool down. I thought I'd take a moment to kind of show you a little bit of a close up of how things are set up. Be sure that you clamp everything really well. At the top here I put in a cold finger, but I never used it and uh, I don't think uh, anything ever got even got close to it. Okay. So let's start uh, the motor up here and let's add some acetone. Only pour in about 20 milliliters at any one time and about 20 minutes apart from one another. This will help keep the temperature down. So this is an extremely exothermic reaction and as you can see with a the thermal camera the temp is already around 70 degrees. If you put in too much acetone at any one time, you can get a runaway reaction. This is what makes doing this reaction so dangerous. However, instead of just saying that it can be dangerous, I thought I would show you a runaway reaction by intentionally creating one. You can see the temp going up. The stopper popping off was unexpected and was caused by the pressure building up and snapping the cat clip that was supposed to hold it in place. So that gives you a good idea of just how dangerous this reaction can be. So please use extreme caution. Okay, so I got everything cleaned back up and the temp is still pretty high. And you can see that it is doing a pretty good job of heating the water. So be sure that you get enough ice. There's nothing worse than having a 300 degree flask about to boil the water and you're trying to run down the street and get ice. Okay, so when there's no more heat being produced, the reaction is done, so place your flask in your heating mantle and set up for a simple distillation. Okay, here's mine. You'll need to turn on the heat and you should start getting acetone at around 45 degrees, followed by chloroform and then last water if you even go that far. So the, the distillation has started at this point and as you can see we're getting product. Okay, so right now I'm pointing at acetone. This will be floating at the top. 
if there's any water, it'll actually float on the very bottom, and you'll have three layers. Okay, so here we are. We're done. We have acetone, as you can see, very well defined on the top layer, and then chloroform on the bottom. So grab a separatory funnel, make sure the valve is closed, and then pour in your product. Okay, once again you can see two separate uh, layers. You'll need to separate them and discard the acetone and then add about 20 to 30 milliliters of a saturated salt solution in water. And you can see that solution on the bottom now and the chloroform will be on top. The salt made it more dense so it went to the bottom. Okay, and as you can see when we're all done, we ended up with just over 50 milliliters of chloroform. Add about one milliliter of dry ethanol to the chloroform to stabilize it, and then pour into a bottle to store. Thanks for watching.